For this question, we need to find the point or points on the parabola y equals 1 8 times x squared that are closest to the point 0 6. Well, to do this, we obviously need to use the distance formula, which is d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. We have one point, of course, this uh, 0, 6. The 0 can be our x1 and the 6 can be our y1. But now we need another set of points. That, that set of points can be our equation. We can have a general point of x being our x2 and y as our y2, which would mean that our y2 is also equal to 1 over 8 times x squared. So now we plug these into the formula. d equals the square root of x minus 0 squared plus y minus 6 squared and now we can sub in this uh, y value in for here so d equals x minus 0 is equal to x so just, just so this just becomes x squared plus uh, 1 over 8 times x squared is the same as saying x squared over 8 squared over 8 minus 6 squared function. The x squared over 8 minus 6 squared is a perfect squared trinomial. So this can be re uh, expanded into x to the fourth over 64 minus 12 x squared over 8 plus 36. And now we can put this into the function. So d equals the square root of x squared plus x to the fourth over 64 minus 12x squared over 8 plus 36. These two x squares cancel out, sorry, simplify together to make negative 4 over 8x squared. So we can write this as x to the 4 over 64 minus 4x squared over 8 plus 36. Now in this function, the 4 and the 8, the 4 over 8 can be simplified into 1 over 2, which becomes x squared over 2. And this square root can be turned into an exponent of 1 half for the entire function. So we rewrite it as over four minus x squared over two plus thirty. And so now we have this new function. Okay, the function can be rewritten uh, with function notation, so it can be d at x. And so now we can find the derivative of this function by using the chain rule. So the derivative of d at x is we bring down this one half and then keep the original function and then we subtract one from this half which gives us negative one over two and we take the derivative of this. So for this function because the 36 doesn't have an x the derivative of this would be zero, so we can just leave that. Over here, the x to the four over 64 becomes four x cubed over 64, which simplifies to uh, x cubed over 16, because uh, 
64 divided by 4 is 16. And this would become 2x over 2. And the 2s would cancel out, which just leaves x. So we can put that in here. x cubed over 16 minus x. And so now, because this is at, uh, because this would uh, be the derivative of the function, like we're trying to find the x value at a turning point, this derivative would end up being equal to zero. So we set it equal to zero and we rewrite this function. So now we can divide both sides by this entire part. And so zero divided by this would end up being zero, which leaves us with zero equals x cubed over 16 minus x. And so now if we multiply this by 16, we would get a common denominator for them both. So it becomes x cubed minus 16x over 16. You multiply the 16 over on both sides, which cancels out here, and it becomes 0 times 16 over here, which of course is equal to 0. And so that becomes 0 equals x cubed minus 16x. And you can factor out the x, which leaves x squared minus 16 and this is a difference of squares function so this is equal to x minus 4 times x plus 4 so it's x times x minus 4 times x plus 4 meaning x is equal to negative 4 0 and 4. however we still aren't done the question originally asked us to find the points so we need a y value for each of these x values as well but that's simple enough we can just sub them in to the equation that we have x squared over 8 so when we sub in the 0 that just becomes y equals 0 squared over 8 which is a 0 over 8 which is equal to 0 so one point is the origin now, both of these points would have the same y value because when you square any negative number, so negative 4 squared, it would be equal to the square of its, po of its positive integer. So negative 4 squared equals to 4 squared, and they both equal to 16. So in other words, when you sub in both of these x values, you would get 16 over 8 in both cases, which can be simplified to 2. So now we can write our therefore statement. Therefore, the points closest to 0, 6 are 0, 0 negative 4, 2, and 4, 2. Thank you for watching and make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for future videos.